Okay, that's the way my quest are looks, and these are the booklets. Instruction book one and book two, as you can see. Let me show the Dobsonian mount that I was talking about. Okay, this is the Questar telescope, and this is a Dobsonian mount of the um, Skywatcher um, Heritage Virtuoso. Uh, is it Virtuoso? Yeah. Anyway, this is the ten in uh, sorry four inch one, and uh, yeah, I've used the. A tiny um, dovetail bar which came with a telescope and is attached here to the finder area. Of course, this tube can turn now, the finder is not there. As you can see, that orange dot is the finder. And the telescope is on this and is very stable and it can turn. I can just, you know turn it up and down, of course I can lose it up, loosen it up and uh, really better than the uh, I mean any other mount you can install it, tripod or something you can use it inside the home on the table or anything you like uh, it will not track but uh, for tracking you, you can use the virtuoso a heritage it's called your heritage virtuoso one that is four and a half inch mount which has the tracking thing and decoding system you can use that one but this is enough for my needs And this Teleview, lovely Teleview adapter, so I can use now one and a half inch, one and a quarter inch eyepieces on this, including, surprise, surprise, Ethers, a 13 millimeter or uh, APM 13 millimeter, and all the Myriad, the Skywatch Myriad, uh, three and a half to, <laughs> to uh, nine millimeter, and I can use all the Pentax eyepieces if they're not 2 inch. I can use adapter here for 2 inch, but that will not give me any advantage. And that's it. That's perfect for all the uses that I want. And uh, let me show you my uh, um, Celestron C90 Mac. Compare it with this one. So this is the Celestron C90 Mac, Maxatov, and this is another Maxatov Questor. They're very similar. This is 89 millimeter. This is 90 millimeter. Uh, I mean, the aperture size of the mirror. Both of them are in the uh, Skywatcher Heritage uh, 100P uh, Dobsonian stand because you can actually, like any thing, attach anything that which has a dovetail and this and adjust it. You can move it up and down, turn it around. It's really good, versatile, and I uh, really enjoy this too. The image quality, I've been, I've been, I'm very happy with this one. I've not tested really extensively on the planets, especially. Uh, it has been cloud as usual when you get new stuff, so clouds will come. But I can say that both of them are good. And uh, I, I think this, I've heard already that they can be out of collimation. I feel it's slightly out of collimation, not much. This is perfect. I could see more many details on the Mars, and you just have to let them for uh, some time cool down in the temperature, ambient temperature of the surrounding, uh, your observation place, and then that will be perfect for your work. Oh, let me bring the uh, Mead X uh, ETX90. Let's just see how it looks. Compare it with these two. 